Hazrat Ali R.A., the cousin and son-in-law of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is revered in Islam for his wisdom, knowledge, and governance skills. He was the fourth caliph of Islam and is known for his numerous insightful sayings regarding governance, justice, and leadership. Here are some of his notable sayings on governance. The government of the people is more sacred than the people themselves. This statement highlights the sanctity and responsibility of governance. It implies that those in positions of authority should prioritize the welfare and rights of the people they govern over their own interests. Governance is a trust given by the people, and it should be exercised with integrity, justice, and accountability. A ruler who does not consult his subjects is a tyrant. Consultation, shura, is a fundamental principle in Islamic governance. It emphasizes the importance of seeking the opinions and advice of the people before making decisions that affect them. This fosters inclusivity, transparency, and accountability in governance, ensuring that the ruler's actions are in line with the interests and welfare of the community. He who is greedy is disgraced. He who discloses his hardship will always be humiliated. He who has no control over his tongue will often have to face discomfort. This saying underscores the importance of ethical conduct and self-discipline in governance. Greed, lack of transparency, and unrestrained speech can lead to corruption, discord, and ultimately the downfall of a ruler. It emphasizes the need for leaders to exercise self-restraint, honesty, and humility in their words and actions. Justice is an ornament that enhances the glory of sovereignty. Justice is a foundational principle in Islam and a cornerstone of good governance. Fair and equitable treatment of all individuals, regardless of their status or background, is essential for maintaining social harmony and stability. This saying emphasizes that justice not only upholds the dignity and rights of individuals, but also elevates the status and legitimacy of the ruling authority. The best kind of wealth is to give up inordinate desires. True wealth in the sight of Allah is not measured by material possessions or worldly acquisitions, but by contentment, generosity, and detachment from worldly desires. This saying encourages leaders to prioritize spiritual and moral values over material wealth and to govern with integrity, humility, and selflessness. A person who is not scared of the accountability of the hereafter will oppress those who are under his authority. Fear of accountability in the hereafter serves as a moral compass for leaders, reminding them of their duty to govern justly and compassionately. This saying warns against the abuse of power and oppression of the vulnerable, emphasizing the importance of leaders' awareness of their ultimate accountability before Allah for their actions. A person's true wealth is the good he or she does in this world. This saying emphasizes the importance of virtuous deeds and service to others as the true measure of wealth and success. Leaders should prioritize actions that benefit society, alleviate suffering, and promote justice and compassion, recognizing that their legacy lies in the positive impact they leave on the lives of others. He who is greedy is disgraced. He who discloses his hardship will always be humiliated. He who has no control over his tongue will often have to face discomfort. This saying reiterates the consequences of greed, dishonesty, and lack of self-control, highlighting the importance of moral integrity and self-discipline in governance. Leaders who prioritize personal gain over the welfare of the people, indulge in dishonesty, or lack restraint in speech, risk damaging their reputation and facing humiliation. Do not be a slave to others when Allah has created you free. This saying emphasizes the importance of independence, self-respect, and self-reliance. Leaders should not succumb to the pressures of external influences or interests that compromise their integrity or principles. Instead, they should uphold their autonomy and act in accordance with their conscience, guided by the principles of justice, righteousness, and accountability. The ignorant person is like a beast of burden carrying a load of unsuitable knowledge. Woe to the ignorant person who has no knowledge. This saying underscores the importance of knowledge, wisdom, and enlightenment in governance. Ignorance breeds incompetence, injustice, and mismanagement, leading to the suffering and oppression of the people. Leaders should strive to acquire knowledge, seek guidance from experts, 
and make informed decisions based on sound reasoning and understanding, ensuring effective and responsible governance.